this morning. Not everybody who's caught up in a false religion that's been deceived that maybe becomes like a preacher or something within their religion, not all of them are considered what the Bible calls a false prophet. Those words, a false prophet, is reserved for someone who is a wolf in sheep's clothing, who is a bad person, who is a child of the devil that is a reprobate, that there is no hope for that person. That is what the, what the Bible refers to as a false prophet. But we have an example even with the Apostle Paul, right? It was Saul of Tarsus. He was a Pharisee, and he learned. Of, now, we don't know, like, like he was learning and growing and, you know, and, and persecuting the church. So he was doing a lot ignorantly in what he was deceived by and thinking he was just following the truth. And it, it was a genuine, sincere, wrong belief, thinking that you know, he was just deceived. He, was, he, didn't, he didn't hear the gospel, reject it, and just decide, no, I'm still going to, you know, just preach out of the counsel of my own heart. He was deceived, but when he heard the truth, he received the gospel, he got saved. There are people out there like that. There are people that could come from false religions, you know, but I would say this, that that's probably an exception more than the rule, you know, when you, when you have people in these positions, because the position of a pastor will have a tendency to attract bad people. Just like any positions of power and authority, when you're given a position where there's a lot of trust, just inherently because you're going to a church, you're, you know, it, it should be expected. People, you know, people in general are going to expect, hey, I should be able to feel safe in church. I want to come. I want to hear from the Bible. I want to do what's right. So I'm going to go to church. And who more can you trust than the pastor of a church? Right? I mean, if you're just thinking, in general terms, hey, this should be a man of God. This should be someone that I could turn to and trust. And that trust is given oftentimes without even really getting to know somebody. Too many people will just walk in, you know, maybe they're going through a hard time in their life and they want to seek God. And who do they turn to? They turn into some church and, you know, they're trusting and are going to rely on the pastor to help them out. Because that trust exists, it's real, it's, it, it, it happens all the time, you have bad people with bad motives and bad intentions that are going to try to get into those positions because it's ripe for abuse. When you got people coming to you and just, just inherently trusting you, that is what wicked people want to have for their own gain, whatever it is that they're after, whether it be money, right? A lot of, a lot of preachers... <laughs> just love money and they could figure, Oh, I could say whatever I want. And people will just look to me and already give me credibility and respect. And if I just preach whatever I want to preach, I could string these people along and get a lot of money out of them, make merchandise of people. The Bible warns about that. Other people have other intentions, other deviant, perverted lusts and desires that they want to fulfill. And when they gain people's trust, and they need to file unstable souls, young people, whatever their wicked, reprobate heart wants to do. But that's what, you know, they, they come into a lot of these positions and then they just, and they don't care. They don't care. These people don't care about the word of God. They just have to use it in order to play the part. They have to put on the sheep coat, right? As a wolf to make themselves look like they're one of you. The false prophet is someone that is brought up over and over again throughout Scripture that we are being warned about because it is so serious and it is so deceptive and, it, and they can do so much damage. This is why we should not have inherent trust with any man. We trust in the Lord. We trust in God. We trust in God's word absolutely without doubt but when it comes to a man you have to be guarded yes no matter who that man is you know whether it's me or anybody because the the wolf you know a good a good wolf they have a good sheep you know if they have a really good outfit on it's gonna be hard to tell it's gonna, you know eventually they get known eventually they get found out but you need to watch out just in general